The Jewish perspective on Jesus as the Messiah is different from Christianity. The main reason why Jewish don't consider Jesus as their Messiah include the fulfillment of messianic prophecy, monotheism, rejection, and historical context. One of the central messianic prophecies in Judaism is the gathering of all Jewish exiles back to the land of Israel. This return is expected to be a joyous and unified event where all Jews will come together to live in their ancestral homeland. While there have been periods of Jewish migration to Israel throughout history, the full and complete ingathering of all exiles has not occurred according to Jewish belief. Another significant messianic prophecy is the rebuilding of the temple in Jerusalem. The temple was the center of Jewish worship and served as a symbol of the presence of God among his people. After the destruction of the second temple by the Romans in 70 AD, Jews have been waiting for the Messiah to rebuild the temple. To this day, the temple has not been built. The Messiah is also expected to bring about a universal recognition of the one true God, not only among Jews, but among all people. This means that all nations will come to acknowledge and worship the God of Israel as the supreme and only deity. During Jesus' lifetime, there was no global recognition of the God of Israel as the sole deity, as much of the world continued with various pagan and polytheistic beliefs. The Messiah is anticipated to usher an era of peace, justice, and righteousness. In this messianic age, a warfare of conflict will cease, and humanity will live in harmony. During Jesus' time, there were still wars, injustice, and suffering leading many Jews to believe that the messianic era had not yet arrived. It is important to note that the Jewish perspective on the Messiah is not a rejection of Jesus as a historical figure or a teacher. Many Jews acknowledge Jesus as a significant Jewish figure and a charismatic teacher. Still, they do not believe that he fulfilled the specific messianic prophecies outlined in the Jewish scriptures. In Christianity, Jesus is considered not only the Messiah, but also the divine Son of God and the second person of the Holy Trinity. Christians believe that Jesus is both fully human and fully divine, a concept known as the Incarnation. According to Christian doctrine, Jesus is God made flesh who took on human form to redeem humanity from sin and offer the possibility of eternal salvation through his sacrificial death and resurrection. The belief in the divinity of Jesus is central to Christian theology and distinguishes Christianity from other monotheistic religions. For Christians, Jesus' divine nature means that he shares the essence of God and has the authority and power to forgive sins, perform miracles, and offer eternal life to believers. In contrast, Judaism maintains strict monotheism, emphasizing the absolute oneness of God. The Shema, a fundamental Jewish prayer, proclaims, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Jews believe in a singular invisible God, and any notion of multiple divine beings or entities is incompatible with the Jewish theory. For Jews, the idea of a divine human or the Trinity is not accepted, as it goes against their core belief in God's unity. The concept of God taking on human form is considered inconceivable with the traditional Jewish thought. In Judaism, the Messiah is seen as a human being, a descendant of King David through his father Solomon, who will be anointed as the leader and savior of the Jewish people. According to the Jewish belief, the role of the Messiah is to fulfill certain specific tasks and bring about a time of universal peace, justice, and knowledge of God. The Messianic Era, often referred to the Messianic Age, is envisioned as a time when all people will recognize the truth of Judaism and the world will be transformed into a state of spiritual and physical perfection. However, crucially, the Jewish Messiah is not considered divine or part of the Divine Trinity. Instead, the emphasis is on the human nature of the Messiah, who will be a righteous leader chosen by God to bring about the redemption and the fulfillment of the prophetic promises. The Jewish religious authorities of that time had a specific expectation regarding the Messiah, primarily based on their interpretations of the messianic prophecies found in the Hebrew scriptures. These prophecies emphasized the restoration of the Davidic kingdom, the liberation of Jewish people from oppression, and the establishment of the world of peace and righteousness. Jesus' teachings and actions, which emphasize spiritual matters and personal salvation, were not seen as fulfilling these traditional expectations, leading to doubts about his messianic claims. Jesus' statements and actions implied a unique relationship with God, such as referring himself as the Son of God, were perceived as blasphemous and inconsistent with Jewish monotheism. Jesus' teaching and actions often challenged the authority and practices of the Jewish religious establishment, including criticisms of certain religious traditions and interpretations. This resulted in opposition from religious leaders who felt threatened by his popularity and his potential to disrupt the existing religious order.
The concept of the Messiah in Judaism is diverse and open to individual and communal interpretations. While there is no universally agreed upon figure for the Messiah, Jews generally await for the arrival of a future human and mortal individual who will fulfill the messianic prophecies and bring about a world characterized by justice, peace and the recognition of God. So that is all about the video. If you like the video, click the like button. Subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Feel free to share this video with your friends.